Hello everybody, thank you so much for visiting uh, Riders United YouTube channel and in today's episode I would like to show you how you can adjust the brake pedal on the Harley Davidson uh, Heritage Softail M8 and in my case I have to say I was looking for a little bit extra room to stretch my legs on this longer ride so please uh, stick around and I will show you how this uh, few extra minutes can help you adjust that. Here we go. So let me provide you with a little bit of the background information why I decided to actually do this modification. I noticed that if I will put my Dr. Martens and those are the boots that I'm using while I'm riding the motorcycle, the bottom of the brake pedal was actually hitting my boot and that didn't allow me to actually move my foot any further. So there was additional real estate on this on this floorboard but unfortunately I was not able to stretch my my right foot long enough to kind of get a little bit more comfortable on those longer rides. So just adjusting this pedal slightly higher will allow me to actually get a little bit extra stretch and increase the comfort of this motorcycle. So let me show you how to get this done. Here are the tools that you will need in order to adjust the heights of your brake pedal. You will need the ratchet, you will need this uh, longer extension just to make sure you can remove this uh, floorboard easily. This is the T45, it's recommended to also get under the floorboards. This is the T40, this one is to remove the brake pedal. And 916 wrench, half of an inch wrench and also an adjustable wrench. And of course the thread locker in order to secure everything after adjustment is done. Okay, so the first step will be to jack the bike up. Make sure to secure the bike when you have it on the jack, just so nothing is really moving and everything stay in place. So in order to adjust the pedal heights, we'll have to remove the floorboards and those will be the two screws on both sides. So let me get on to it. Here we go. Okay, clean this stuff up again. So in order to remove the brake pedal, you will have to use a half inch wrench and there is nut behind it. So you have to catch it in there on the back. And this is a T40 and you will get this loose. Here we go. So that's what I'm talking about. Now you can lift this, remove this pin. It will allow you to lift this and you can remove the whole thing. So this is how you will do it. I have 916 range in here. I will grab this nut in here. Then I will do it, take adjustable range. Make sure that you pull, you actually holding both sides of this bracket and you will move it up. This will get this loose. So right now you can see, you can unscrew this whole thing. And the further you go this way, the pedal will go higher. So just keep in mind that even tiny adjustment will make a big difference. So since I don't like this to be so loose, I decided I will put this tiny washer because this is probably as much as I would like to move this and we put that back together. Doesn't seem like a lot, but I think in my case it will, it will make the needed difference. So right now I will try to kind of tighten it up. So again, all right, just a little bit to make sure this is nice and tight. Now you can adjust this. All right, 
and now I will be able to put all this back together. So now I can put this brake pedal back, make sure that this part goes in between this bracket here. So let me try that. You will put your pin back in there. Now the cotter pin back on from this side. So now I will take this bolt and the nut and I apply a little bit of thread locker as always, especially for the brakes. This is important. So make sure you go through the other side, tie this up and again, half inch wrench. Make sure everything operates properly. Looks like everything's good. Rubber is nicely aligned, covering this whole piece. You have the hole on the bottom in here, so the water can escape. And yeah, that's kind of it. So right now we have to put the floorboard back. I will insert the bolts. Here we go. So before I was using kind of similar shoes and I didn't have the clearance in here. So I couldn't really move my, my foot in here any further because it was always like sitting like this. Just this tiny little bit, this tiny washer make enough space for me in here. So just this tiny little adjustment helps a lot and I can break comfortably. Everything works properly and I have nice clearance in here. So I gained probably about like two inches that I can move my, my uh, foot forward, which is maybe not that much, but everything helps. So I really hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, quick episode. And like I said, it's a really simple job that uh, might help somebody out to maybe get a little bit more comfort on these longer rides. And uh, I have a uh, different episodes on my, on my YouTube channel. So if you'd like to see some additional tips, especially about this model of the bike, because I have the whole series on this modification for this motorcycle, feel free to subscribe and uh, connect with me on the different platforms. You will be able to also find me on the Facebook. I have the group called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. And I'm also on the Instagram and I lately I start posting some uh, shorts on the on the uh, TikTok. So I mean, this is uh, always uh, something that brings me a lot of joy. I really hope that you guys uh, enjoy those videos. I always would like to hear from you about the, some of the ideas that you might have for the future episodes. So if you have some uh, questions or comments, please feel free to let me know and I'm always happy to answer any, any questions that you guys might have about this uh, specific modification or maybe some of the other videos that I posted so far. So this is everything I got for you today. So thank you so much for your time again and please uh, ride safe and see you next week. Bye bye.